Ciao, buongiorno, buonasera, welcome back to the ESC Scott YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to another Sanremo entry for 2024. And we're going to be reacting to Lordana Berte with the song Paza. I've reacted to a few songs from Sanremo now. This is the fourth one I'm reacting to. So far, the quality has been up here. So let's see if Lordana can keep it up. Let's play the intro. So I'm not listening to every single Sanremo entry and uploading it to YouTube. It's not happening. I'm not going to react to 30 songs. But what I am doing is looking at the odds. I put out a post on Instagram and Twitter to say to people what songs are kind of the favourites. What songs do you enjoy? And I'll react to them on YouTube. And I've also got um, the odds up as well. I'm looking at the odds. Who is the most likely to be sent to Eurovision? Who is going to win Sanremo? And Lordana Berte is fourth in the odds. Which is a surprise to me. Well, actually... It's not a huge surprise. Lordana's quite a big name in Italy. I know that she's a coach in The Voice, or The Voice Kids. She's quite huge. If you're sitting in one of the big red chairs, you know you've made it. And she's just had an amazing career. She is 73 years of age, I think. She's in her 70s. Let me just see. Yes, yeah, she is 73 years of age. And she's attempting Sanremo. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. She has got her song, Paza. I've not seen anything about this song and I don't know why it's fourth in the odds. So let's see why it's fourth in the odds. Let's get this on. The AirPods are in. I've just listened to Mahmoud's entry and oh my god. Oh my god. I've also listened to Angelina's song and Annalisa's song. Both amazing entries. Every single one I've listened to so far has been quality. So let's hope that this one is too. Okay, Lordana Berte with the song Paza. Let's go. Come on. Serve us some sass, Lordana. Lordana. Okay, so she was a songwriter on the song. Good to know. Oh. Kind of a rock vibe. Oh my god. She's got a rasp in her voice I'm fucking here for. Oh my god, the backing singers are feeling it. Okay. I'm loving the blue hair as well. I'm loving it. Oh my god, okay. There's some drama in this, but it's so up tempo. <laughs> okay. Her voice has some vulnerability in it, like, it sounds like it's kind of shaky, but it's not. Okay. I'm enjoying it. I can see Italy really loving this, I can see this in the charts. I'm going to look up the lyrics to see what the song's actually all about in a minute, once the song's over. I'm loving these shots of the backing singers are going. I mean, she does not look 73. I mean, look at her. She does not look 73. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. Mm -mm. Almost feels like kind of a, not a lullaby, but I maybe a lullaby. Like, the, the, the chorus kind of reminds me of kind of the la di da di da. Okay. I can see Italy loving this as, as I say in the charts. I don't know if it is for Eurovision. We'll have a look at the lyrics and evaluate in a minute. Okay, we've got a breakdown now. I would seriously laugh if this one's done now. I would be, I'd be so happy with it. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, she's she was she's a good performer. She's experienced. She's really good on stage. She's really good on stage. Love her. Love, love her. I mean, yeah. Okay, is the song like 
absolutely out of this world, like astounding. We've not heard anything like it before. No, we have heard stuff like it before. It's not made me go, oh my god, this is like the best entry ever. It's, it's, I mean, it's good, but it's not like absolutely spellbound. It's not making me kind of jump out my seat. The beat was good. The chorus was good. I can already kind of remember it. If you can remember the chorus, then you know that it's memorable. It will stand out. And she's really good on stage. You can just see she has this confidence about her. Well, she's been in the industry long enough to know how to work the stage. You can clearly see that. Okay, so she has 2.6 stars on um, EurovisionWorld.com, which isn't great. It means kind of bang on average for the people at home. So she's still fourth in the odds, but that also means, I think she won the press night, the first night I think she won the press poll, so I think that's probably why she's up high in the odds. Let's have a little look at the, uh, the lyrics, because I'm very intrigued and need to find out about these lyrics. So Paza, Paza, Paza means crazy. The first line is, I'm always the girl who almost gets pissed off already. Loving me isn't easy, unfortunately I know myself. Okay, I understand you, if you two will walk away from me. So the song's about love, about, well obviously being crazy I think. Loving her isn't easy. She might be a pain. With my heart, I squeezed you like toothpaste. In the head, fireworks. Now I go straight to every crossroads. Okay, I'm crazy. What's up? What's up? So it's about her being crazy. Her relationships in her own life, possibly. I'm crazy about myself and I want to shout it again. I don't need anyone who forgives me. I do it alone. And I'm crazy about myself. Yes, because I hated myself enough. First they tell you enough you're crazy and then they make you a saint. Okay, so yeah, kind of got a bang on the nose. If there's anything else I'm missing, let me know. Yeah, the song was good to me. Very classic Sandra Emma, although I feel like we have seen songs like this in the past. Obviously, I don't think other people are feeling it. 2.6 stars on EurovisionWorld.com is not very great. But let me know your thoughts. Interested to hear what you think down below in the comments. We'll have a little conversation about it. And remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision reactions exactly like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.